how does Vision 360 help reduce churn? First, you have to look at the reasons for why customers leave, right? Um, if you take price out of the equation, it really comes down to quality of service. Um, am I getting what I feel is fair for the money that I'm spending, but I'm getting, if I have a problem, is, you know, is it being addressed? Um, where I think the Vision 360 product really helps in that regard is, is in two, two ways. First, there's just the all but guaranteed delivery or service fulfillment. I order something, it gets turned on almost instantaneously, right? There's very little delay usually unless there's work to be done at the customer prem. The services are activated as soon as the equipment and the network is there to, to allow it to go through. And you can almost bank on the fact that what the customer has requested is what is being delivered. So there's little issue, little room for there to be a disconnect in that sense. So that's first thumbs up. The second thing is, is that over now the tenure of that customer being on the network, you want to be careful that you know they don't have things that cause them to go out of service and cause problems. And with our analytics tool, we can start to see, okay, is this customer calling repeatedly for a problem? You know, are there other customers in the area that are also calling? So I have the ability to start seeing repeat trouble calls, repeat issues, right? And then start to do some diagnostics on that to figure out, okay, why is this customer having a problem? Or why is this area of the network having a problem? And then start to take corrective action. Do I have a training issue? with a service tech? Do I have a problem with my plant that needs to be addressed? Um, do I need to do some proactive um, customer satisfaction work to try to bring them back up to speed? Um, you know, there's all kinds of things that we can do, but again, the, the analytics part of the application gives you that visibility into what's going on. Um, and then in time, we will have more in the way of diagnostic capabilities so that as the connection into the house um, is being monitored, we'll be able to determine, okay, is it doing the right things based on the service assignments? And if we start to see some problems, again, we can either notify somebody of the issue or we can take some corrective self-healing action from an automated standpoint where we can say, okay, let's reprovision this thing and reset it and try to get it back into what we consider a workable range of values um, based on what we know about the network at this prime.